Hey YouTube, welcome to Tech Yes, it is Brand Easy coming back to you guys today with a video on how you can spot a fake SD memory card or any memory card for that matter the easy way. Now, there's a lot of fake uh, SD memory cards going around on the internet, they get sold, uh, they're counterfeits, they get, you know, especially the expensive brands like SanDisk, Samsung, so here's a fake one here. So a fake Sam, uh, Samsung memory card. And the easy way to tell, instead of comparing them side by side and looking for the minor differences and flaws, the easy way to tell is to get this program called Crystal Disk Marker. Now I'm going to put this in the link, uh, I'll put this in the description below, below the link for this uh, program. And just download this, install it, and then open it up here. So you just open it up. So it's made by a Japanese guy. And I use this to uh, test all my SSD benchmarks. And I figured, hey, why not use this to test memory cards? So basically you just install uh, this program, open it up, insert your memory card in and connect it to the computer. And then once you've done that, I want you to simply go to one. So we want to do this one time. Uh, a thousand, mega, thousand megabytes is good, one gigabyte is good. It tests the you know consistent read and write speeds of the memory card. And here I have my Plexar. I have that inserted in, it's F drive. So select the drive you want to test and then hit sequential. That's the only button you need to hit and it'll test the sequential read and writes. And so it may take a little while, it may take five minutes and that's all you do, you hit there, hit that button and as you can see here it's preparing the SD card and that's what you do. So let's get on to the next video. I'm going to show you the three memory cards that I had and actually two of them are fake and I'll show you the results after the memory cards. So two of these memory cards are actually fake. Uh, we've got here the Samsung Micro SD, the SanDisk uh, Standard SD, and the Lexar Platinum 2 SDHC. So I think this is SDHC as well, but two of these are fake and there's an easy way to tell and I'm going to show you guys now. So after running the tests on each card separately, we found that the Lexar Platinum 2 32GB model, even with uh, data on it, about 20% of the data filled, it still managed to get 20 uh, megabytes read speeds and 19 megabytes write speeds. And if you guys are putting these things in your DSLR cameras or recording on them, then the write speeds are pretty damn important. So the second card here is the SanDisk Extreme 16 gigabyte, uh, well so-called SanDisk Extreme. That actually f uh, empty, that was an empty card and that managed to get 16 megabytes per second read speeds and only 9 megabytes per second write speeds. Now this is not, it's advertised as a class 10 product which means it should be at least getting 10 megabytes per second write speeds and it's not so this means that it's pretty much a fake and it's pretty damn close like it's a pretty good fake and I have to admit, admit that this almost came close to the 10 megabyte write speeds and that's, I mean, most people are going to put this card in their camera and probably not notice that this is a fake. Uh, however, the benchmarks don't lie and this is not a class 10 product. Uh, the next card here is the Samsung 32GB class 10 micro SDHC uh, card. This was, as you can see here, the read speeds were actually pretty decent. I mean, 18 megabytes read speeds, but the write speeds were horrible. It only scored 6 uh, megabytes per second on the write speeds and uh, since it's advertised as a class 10 product the class 10 means it essentially should be at least writing at 10 megabytes per second guaranteed and this is not doing that and it's clearly a fake so in hindsight you can see that the two um, more expensive models that were fakes performed worse uh, you know on the write speeds not even half as good as the Lexar Platinum 2 and the Lexar Platinum 2 is a mid-priced memory card and the good thing about it is it's just a legit, you're getting a legit product. I think in recommendations I'm going to say unless you need these extremely fast write speeds or these extremely good products and you're willing to pay the money for a legit one from the store, from a trusted uh, store or online store, then I recommend going with the mid-range cards because there's not going to be many fakes of them about. Uh, the Lexar Platinum 2s, I don't know if there's any fakes of them out, which is one of the reasons why I bought this for my Canon camera, as it was pretty much a guaranteed I'm not going to get a fake. But yeah, these other two cards, I bought these off the internet and they're both fakes. And it's really sad, you know, it really sucks when you get a fake. I actually got a refund for this Samsung. This SanDisk Extreme, I didn't actually know this was a fake until recently uh, when I tested it now. So 
I uh, bought that a while back, so, but yeah, it's pretty disappointing when you get these cards and you actually test them. So this program is a solid way just to test if the memory card's fake and to know if that seller or that online store is selling bad fakes, good fakes. Uh, in this case, yeah, these fakes were actually pretty decent, so I'm pretty surprised anyway. So uh, yeah, the Lexile Platinum 2 is not a bad memory card. It's only only cost me $20, $20, $20 for a 32 gigabyte model and its write speeds are insanely good so it works on my Canon camera flawlessly it's a really good card I can recommend it and yeah guys so if you have any questions about this uh, uh, overview and how to spot fake memory cards please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and spread the word on how to spot fake memory cards and also if you haven't already subscribe to Tech Yes City where I'll be giving you guys all videos tech related so anyway, guys uh, peace out for now brand easy bye